augmented reality and virtual reality really bring simulations to life. They allow you to see them to scale. They allow you to see and notice the details in a 3D environment that you might not have seen when you were looking at it in a 2D frame. An immersive experience removes uh, the barriers between the user and the 3D and digital world by physically engaging you as a person and enabling the kind of interactions one would have in a real context. The Living Heart Project is uniting cardiovascular researchers on this mission to develop and validate highly accurate personalized digital human heart models. One of the first things we did was to design holographic and virtual reality experiences presenting the work that was done. It was a huge success. Uh, people from all ages loved it and it's been very efficient at conveying the, all the new possibilities offered by the, the Living Heart Project. There is a goal for any air conditioning manufacturer to reduce the noise coming out of their systems. In order to do that, you really need to understand the physics that's driving that noise and then be able to change your designs in order to minimize it. And being able to visualize this airflow immersively it's, uh, helps to make better decisions during the design process. It puts the user at the center of this process, which is very good, and helps uh, communicate the complex phenomenon behind the, the functionality. So by using simulation and using advanced visualization, we can really show how a system behaves. We have the real physics, we can get the right answer, and we can show that right answer in a context that allows people to make really good decisions.